You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. My name's Rob. Thank you again for joining us today. We really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with us. Never, ever, ever take that for granted, and uh, we'll try to bring you some value today. Definitely going to bring you some value in further talking about some some GPS solutions and going over some mapping class stuff. We uh, greatly appreciate this question, and this question today is brought to you by our Drone U mapping classes. We did just change and expand the format. So if you want even more exercises or you want to cover a specific uh, special vertical of mapping, like mapping large areas, etc., you can join us for an extended mapping class. Uh, we also just did a condensed mapping class. Uh, that was fun. That was, uh, you know, when, when people do the prerequisites before coming to class, it's amazing how fast they can get through the content. Yeah. And it just goes to show the power of online plus in person is like the real money maker. Yeah. At least that's what I've seen with students. That's what works. So it does. It's efficient. Yeah. It's not in person and online is not mutually exclusive. Com- like combined, they're they're really powerful. So absolutely. Let's hear that question, Rob. Hi, Paul and Rob. My name is Brandon Hess from Fort Collins, Colorado. I'd like to say welcome to Colorado. I'm glad to have you guys here as part of the community. I actually have two questions here for you. In your in-person mapping classes, do you guys go over acquiring ground control points and kind of teach people how to use like a tremble or emlet or arrow points or something? I'm struggling with that, learning that part of mapping. And then my second question is, what would you guys recommend to get started? I've been looking at Aeropoint version two. Those look like they're pretty user friendly without having to know a huge amount of uh, surveying knowledge, but they have a very high price point, entry price point. I know you've mentioned before, Emlid has something, Trimble has something, just not sure which direction you would advise to go. And if I do sign up for one of your in mapping courses, do you guys teach us how to use that equipment? Anyways, thank you guys for what you do. I appreciate all your knowledge and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, Brandon. Really, really appreciate the welcome. We are so stinking glad to be here. It's uh, frankly, I mean, for some folks that have been in the area for perhaps their whole lives or certainly longer than we have, um, I, it, it, you might just like, yeah, it's cool. But we, I don't know, we like, we walk generally before podcasts and just looking out towards the mountains. It's just like, wow, I'm really grateful. And and I will say like, I dug in a lot of ways, New Mexico. It's a beautiful place in my opinion, but being up here is just a, it's another world and super glad to be here. So thank you for the welcome. Appreciate that. And thank you for the question. Look forward to getting into it. It is definitely another world. Um, and sometimes it feels surreal. It's just so beautiful. The people, you know, I say the people are beautiful, but what I mean is they're so kind and they're so uh, warm and open. And, and a lot of people are interested in creating that community. I feel like you don't even get that in some areas of Denver. And, and I'm just, I'm very, very, very grateful. And funny enough, our new office is literally on the border like the actual line of Fort Collins and Loveland, like our parking lots in Fort Collins, but our building is in Loveland. So Ish, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So really appreciate the, uh, the warm welcome there. And um, let's just hit this really quick. So question one was, do we go over doing georeferencing um, during class? The answer is yes. So part of the mapping class, we have an acquisition day and we have multiple exercises to cover 2D deliverables, 3D deliverables, um, volumetric deliverables, um, because now that our office is right by a particular area, we have uh, literally 20 feet from our door, the ability to measure every different kind of 
of stockpile that you could run into, uh, which really adds to the value of our classes. We even have additional infrastructure there that we get to map for other utility inspections as well. So it's a really amazing place to be. In the acquisition, we do actually utilize GCPs in the acquisition. Um, in fact, this reminds me I need to send out GCPs to the last class. Um, but we right now are focusing on using arrow points. Um, and I will say that uh, in using arrow points, are they expensive comparatively speaking? I think the answer is an obvious yes. But you pay for convenience, okay? With arrow points, they work in more places than RTK systems do because they do not require cellular service. They don't require, um, you know, being close to a cores tower, et cetera. Um, they, they work over long baselines. Um, my point in saying this is that you pay for convenience. There is no easier solution to geo-reference your data than arrow points. Like they, they really nailed it. Um, and that's why they're expensive. And you're also paying after year one, you're paying a subscription fee to continue getting those corrections. Now that said, uh, we are rekindling our relationship with Propeller because I'd like to start teaching on the version two arrow points. Um, but we're going to be adding something new to the next mapping class, which is, you know, before we were shooting RTK GCP points with the MLID RS2, great unit, super cheap unit, great uh, for anyone who's looking to affordably and realistically, uh, you know, shoot GCPs. Uh, well, Trimble just undercut MLID in a way that makes me proud to be an American because MLID is, <laughs> is Russian. So um, that said, uh, the DA, so Delta Alpha 2, is their newest rover unit to shoot uh, RTK GCPs. In fact, one of our clients uh, kind of was like, hey, have you heard about this unit? Um, long story short, it's $500. It's super cheap. It might, it's like 400 something, something, something. But with tax and all that, it's 500 bucks. Now, you will need a subscription to Trimble Business Center um, to be able to do everything that you're going to need to do for processing. Um, but that's, you know, you're in it now for a thousand bucks total. It'll be 500 or so ish dollars a year after that. But that's going to be the cheapest rapid solution possible for uh, mapping in urban environments, urban environments like the Fort Collins, uh, Loveland, Longmont, that Tri-City area that we are in. Now, I love propeller arrow points because they are the easiest to use. One of the drawbacks, um, and I don't think you have this drawback as much with the newer units, but you're not going to know sometimes if an arrow point fails, which can sometimes cause you to redo acquisition. Um, which can be an issue if you're traveling to, to, to it, get there. It sure can. Yeah, it sure can. Now, we haven't run into that issue too many times, but it has been an issue overall. And the only other downside about arrow points versus an RTK solution is that there is a waiting period between uh, uploading your data and acquiring those new points. But... There's a lot of value in having arrow points over an RTK system. I'd like to provide two points. Point number one is if you're flying Wingtra, okay? Let's say you're flying a Wingtra drone and you throw out just one arrow point. Cool. Now you can use that to georeference your entire PPK data set on Wingtra. That's really powerful. Also, the Propeller Arrow Point was the only system that I saw that now integrates into DJI's new Mavic 3 Enterprise. No way. Huh. Yeah, so you can use the RTK module and the Propeller system to actually acquire georeference data with that drone as well. So you do have added points of value. Um, I always joke at mapping class and I say, you know how easy it is to use an arrow point, you literally go like this. <laughs> and we're done. Even Rob can do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to have a wife joke there, but I should probably shut my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so I saved you. Yeah, you did. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm grateful. <laughs> um, but cheapest, fastest solution is going to be the Trimble DA2. Um, easiest, convenient solution that's going to provide you with geo-reference material even outside of urban areas 
are going to be those arrow points. Um, we do love the arrow point system. Some people complain about the size and traveling with them. I would say, um, you know, I honestly wish they were bigger because then they'd be easier to mark. Um, and that's one of my only complaints about arrow points is they haven't figured out the contrast thing that that we figured out with our our uh, landing pads it's because they're it's branded. This is true. So they don't want to change. Yeah, Brandy. Oh, that was a mistake. Anyway, uh, long story short <laughs> is if you need the um, cheapest solution possible, um, we are actually going to be working with some distributors here out of Denver where you can buy the Trimble unit and get our landing pads, the GCP landing pads. I even saw that uh, it's such a good idea. Hoodman is now trying to copy us. So uh, that said, um, I would never use those Hoodman landing pads for GCPs because because in some cases, the bottom of those landing pads, because of the weighted ring, doesn't actually touch the ground. So you're going to have a huge uh, projection error between where the pads are seen floating above the ground versus where you shot it on top of the ground. Something to be aware of. With our pads, that's not an issue. Um, that said, you can get five landing pads, those GCP landing pads, on our website. Just go to thedroneu.com. Click the swag button at the bottom of the page and go to landing pads. You can pick them up. We just got another run in and they're almost sold out again. So <laughs> it, <sighs> it's so hard to keep up on those things. Um, but uh, if you want them, check them out. We love them as well. We use them for not only GCPs, but landing pads. And we use them for a place to work on our drones as well. So check those out. I really appreciate the question too, Brandon. Well, he's also, I want to make sure that we address the question about what happens in the mapping class specifically, what we include in terms of this realm and what they'll learn. Will they learn how to use the equipment, et cetera, et cetera? Well, we, um, when it comes to arrow points, the answer is yes, they will learn how to use that equipment. I go over not only using them, but also uh, processing the data and going through that in class. This more condensed class, we didn't have time for that. And we used to actually go over both. We used to go over RTK systems and shooting points on RTK and using arrow points. Um, but, uh, we're going to have to only do that in our like extended class to have time for that. Cause during acquisition day, depending on the number of students, we can show everyone, Hey, this is how we're going to use our receiver, shoot these points, import them into PIX4D. But sometimes we don't have time to say, here's how you set up your Rover. That can be a multi-hour process. But the good news is when you come to mapping class, you get access to our advanced mapping resources. And we already cover the Leica system. We already cover propeller. So by acquiring this DA2 from Trimble, well, now we're going to cover the major three. So we'll have them all. Um, that said, if you are thinking about coming to mapping class, you will not regret it. I promise that I will completely transform your confidence, not just in flying and operations and systems, but also in acquiring data. In our acquisition class, we go over, you know, 3D data, facade data, oblique data, and we go over 2D and 3D data because um, you need the right information to be able to do these missions. And at our mapping classes, you also get all the documents that go along with it, like the acquisition guide, like the workflow guide, like all the pre-flight and emergency checklist guides, like the common glitches guide. Like, I mean, literally I can go down the rabbit hole. So yeah. uh, we spent a lot of time developing that class and it just continues to evolve. I recommend that you join us. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to actually do the class in the office here soon. We'll see how that works. Uh, but we've been doing classes in Loveland, in Longmont, and um, we're also going to be adding a new element to that class on on mapping large areas, working with uh, Wingtra. So that's going to be on our prop system here shortly as well. As you can tell, there's a lot going on <laughs> here at DroneU. So thank you very much for the support. Send in those questions, askdroneu.com. And Brandon, I really appreciate the warm welcome. I have to say, the even the businesses that we've been working with already... Uh, everyone has been so damn gracious and kind, and I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, we've got some some contacts that, that we're working with. I mean, the fact that we're working with, uh, you know, the people that we are in the schools and NASA and all that, and just because we moved up here and made a couple of connections, you know, it shows that if you got the right drive, the right motivation and uh, trying to accomplish and solve the right problems, your ability to, to work with other people and make an impact 
uh, really goes a lot further than if you're just in it for the money. So 100 percent. Yeah, that's going to do it for us today. If you are considering coming to a drone, you mapping class, um, another great thing that is caused intrinsically by signing up for that class and having a set date is your ability to go through the recorded version of the class. And um, by going through that recorded version, you're going to be more primed uh, to retain more of the con content in person. Um, that said, Drone U membership is about to have access to a brand new mapping course. So enjoy everyone. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you next time. If you have a question, ask droneu.com. Cheers. Adios. <laughs>